In chemistry and in math, math, you use a technique called dimensional analysis to convert units of measurement of one kind to a different kind. The basic idea behind dimensional analysis is to multiply fractions. So I'm just going to review how you multiply fractions. Basically what you do is you multiply the top numbers, the numerators, and then you multiply the bottom numbers, the denominator. Now if you notice, I didn't say multiply cross. Instead, you're multiplying across, top with top, bottom with bottom. So 3 times 2, 6. 4 times 9, 36. Now, don't forget, you always have to check if you can simplify your answer. Now, 6 can divide the 6 on the top and the 36 on the bottom. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 36 divided by 6 is 6. So how do we multiply fractions? Top with top, bottom with bottom. Now, sometimes you're going to multiply a whole number by a fraction. And what we're going to do Again, refreshing your memory. We're going to rewrite 5, the whole number, as a fraction. How? Write a 1 under the whole number. After you write 5 as a whole number, 5 over 1, then we are multiplying two fractions like we did on the top. And you just do the same thing. 5 times 3, 15. 1 times 4, 4. Now, fractions that are improper, leave it as a fraction for the moment. Later on, we're going to convert all the fractions into decimals. Now, I want you to try the following exercises so you just check yourself your understanding of multiplying fractions. Hit the pause button, try them out, and when you have your answers, hit the play button and check yourself. All right, let's try the first exercise here. Multiply 7 8 times 3 over 10. So 7 times 3, 21. 8 times 10, 80. Can I simplify? No, there's no number that can divide both at the same time, 21 and 80. Let's do the second exercise. 5 times 3, 15. 7 times 4, 28. Is there any number that can divide the 15 and the 28 so I can simplify my fraction? No. Now let's multiply the next one, but here I'm multiplying a fraction by a whole number. We need to write 8 as a fraction, so we write it over 1. 3 times 8, 24. 16 times 1, 16. Can we simplify this fraction? Yes, 8 can divide both numbers, 24 and 16. 24 divided by 8, 3. 16 divided by 8, 2. Let's do the last one. 4, we have a whole number. We have to rewrite it like a fraction. So 4 over 1, 4 times 5, 20. 1 times 7 is 7. If you notice all of these exercises, at the end I was always checking if I can simplify my answer. There's a technique that you learn in elementary school that you can simplify before you multiply the fraction. And that technique is called cross cancellation. So let's say you're multiplying 3 over 5 times 4 over 9. So how do we multiply fraction? Top with top, so you can see here, 3 times 4. And bottom with bottom, 5 times 9. Now do not multiply. The idea is to simplify before we multiply. And how do we do that? Let's pick two numbers, one on the top and one on the bottom and think if there's any number that can divide both of them. Like for example, 3 and 9, these two numbers can be divided by 3. So if I take this 3 and divide it by 3, I'm going to get a 1. We cross out the 3 so we don't use it. Okay, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3. Cross out the 9 so we don't use it. Check between 4 and 5. The only numbers that can divide 4 and 5 is 1. So we don't do anything to those two numbers. Now we're going to multiply 1 times 4, so we get 4, and 5 times 3, we get 15. 
I don't need to check because I already simplified my answer before I multiply. Okay. Now I want you to check yourself again, refreshing your memory of how you used to do this back in elementary school. Okay. So try this exercise, hit the pause button, work it out. Once you have the answer, hit the play button and check yourself. All right, let's multiply seven, eight times five over 21. And how do we multiply top with top seven times five, but I'm not going to really multiply. I'm going to just write it out eight times 21. Again, I'm not multiplying. I'm just writing it out. Pick a number on the top and a number on the bottom of the fraction and check if there's any number that can divide uh, both of them. Seven and 21, they can both be divided by seven. So seven divided by seven, I'm going to get one. 21 divided by seven, I'm going to get a three. Between five and eight, there's no number other than one that can divide both of them. So I'm not crossing them out. Let's multiply top with top. One times five is five. And bottom with bottom, eight times three is 24. I don't need to check if I can simplify more because I simplify before I multiply. Uh, doing cross cancellation. Now, this same technique of simplifying before you multiply that I did here with fractions, cross cancellation, I can do it also with words. And what do I mean with this? Well, you're going to see that in dimensional analysis, what you're doing is you're multiplying rates and rates are comparisons of two quantities of different kinds. So here, this first fraction is one rate. This second fraction is another rate and I'm multiplying rates. Now I cannot really multiply the words, but I can cross cancel similar words. For example, here, these two fractions, the word in common is feet. I have feet on the top and feet on the bottom, like we did before with the fractions with numbers and check if there's anything else you can cross out one on the top and one on the bottom one word on the top one word on the bottom and there's none and then check what word is left on the top check what word is left on the bottom and just write out what you have left what word was left on the top inches what word was left on the bottom miles okay let's do another similar uh exercise we're multiplying two rates seconds over minutes and minutes over hours what word is in common on the top and on the bottom minutes there's nothing else to cross cancel so what is my final answer second over hours let's do one more a little bit longer okay because i was multiplying two rates you can do this technique with any number of rates when you're multiplying them like for example let's simplify this multiplication of three rates kilometers I can cross it out with this other kilometers minutes I can also cross it out minute on the top minutes on the bottom and there's nothing else I can cross cancel let's check what is left on the top let's check what is left on the bottom and let's write our our answer miles over hours okay now is your turn to check your understanding of applying cross cancellation with words when you're multiplying rates, hit the pause button, work it out. When you have your answer, hit the play button and check yourself. All right, we have three rates. And the first thing I'm going to check is, can I cancel out the word gallons? And yes, I can. Gallons on the top with gallons on the bottom. Can I do more? Yes. Hours on the bottom with hours on the top. Can I do more? No. Check what word is left on the top. Check what word is left on the bottom. And we have cups over seconds. And if you understood this idea, you're going to see that dimensional analysis 
is a simple technique of multiplying fractions. What I'm going to do next is mix numbers with words. I started with only fractions with numbers. Then I went over fractions with words. Now I'm going to mix them. And we're going to try this first example here. And we're multiplying two rates. Okay, you can see I have numbers and words. Tip, do not cross cancel the numbers. Only cross cancel the words. Okay, so for example here, the word hour can cancel out with the hours on the bottom. And there's nothing else I can do. And now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply top with top. So 300 gallons times one and bottom with bottom. Two times 60 seconds. And what do I get? I get 300 gallons over 120 seconds. All right. Now, we need to simplify this fraction. I'm just going to use my regular calculator. And I'm going to divide 300 divided by 120. Always type the top number first in the calculator divided by the bottom number. A fraction is just another way of writing a division problem. And I get here 2.5. And now this rate fraction is simplified as a decimal. That's how you're going to simplify the rates uh, in dimension analysis. And when you divide 300 by 120, whatever answer you get always goes on the top of the fraction of the rate. On the bottom, you write one. In this case, one second, because that's the word left on the bottom. Okay, the words are the units of measurement. Now, when you have a rate with one on the bottom, we call that rate unit rate. And we can simplify that even more. Instead of saying 2.5 gallons over one second, we're going to say 2.5 gallons per second. That keyword there, per, is referring to this rate. Okay, now let's do another one. Let's multiply these four rates. And again, don't forget the tip. The idea is to cross cancel the words first. So can I cancel out the word feet? Yes, this one on the top with this one on the bottom. Can I cancel the word second? Yes, this one on the bottom with this one on the top. Can I cancel any other word? Yes, minutes and minute here. And that's it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to multiply all the top and let's do that really quick in the calculator we multiplying 35 times 60 times 60 and I got 126,000 and then I'm going to multiply the bottom with the bottom so we're going to do the same thing 2 times 5,280 and I get 10,560 so what do I have left in my answer 126,000 miles on the top, that's the only word left on the top, and 10,560 hours on the bottom. Now remember, we do not leave the answer, the rate, like this. Okay, we need to simplify. How do we simplify? We're going to use the calculator. 126,000 divided by 10,560. And we get this long decimal. So, in the instructions, when you're working with dimension analysis, they're going to tell you how many decimal places you're going to round. So let's say they ask you to round to one decimal place. It means you only have one digit to the right of the decimal point. Now, because you're rounding the one decimal place, you need to look at the digit to the right of that place you need to round. And if the digit to the right is five or more, the one that the place that you're rounding is going to go one up. Otherwise, it stays the same. Everything to the right is truncated. Everything to the left, we keep. So it's going to be 11.9. And you can see my final answer is 11.9 miles per hour. Okay, now it's your turn. Try the following exercise. Hit the pause button. Work it out. When you have the answer, hit the play button and check yourself. All right, remember the tip, cross out first the words. So can I cancel out the word meter? 
Yes. Meter up here with meter down here. Can I cancel out the word second? Yes. Second here with second up here. Can I cancel out the word minute? Yes. Minute here with the minute up here. Is there anything else I can do? No. Now we're going to multiply the top. So 10 times 60 times 60 times 1. Use your calculator. It's going to be uh, 36,000 kilometers. And then multiply the bottom with the bottom. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1,000. It's going to be 1,000 hours. Don't forget that you need to simplify this. So divide in your calculator. 36,000 divided by 1,000. You're going to get 36 kilometer per hour.